Hello, this is Richard from SmoothComp again. Welcome to this tutorial about how to create your brackets in a batch and also how to schedule your tournament. I'm gonna start by minimizing the event banner. In a previous video, we showed you how to use the filter. I'm gonna use the filter now and filter for men and then white belts. And then over here, I'm gonna search for all the groups that don't have a bracket yet. This gives me a result of eight out of 28 groups that don't yet have a bracket. Let's create them all in one batch. I'm gonna to toggle all, and then I'm gonna press the button down here saying batch create brackets. This gives me an overview of all the groups that now are about to be created. Then I am gonna assign this to mat number one for now. I'm gonna choose the bracket type. Let's have a double elimination with a bronze fight. Rounds per match is one or as many rounds as you have in your tournament for each fight. I'm gonna leave the times to five minutes and the estimated time per match is also five minutes. At the bottom I'm gonna choose the scoreboard that's gonna be used for all the brackets. Let's have the JGIF fighting scoreboard. And now I'm gonna press the create bracket and the system will very fast just create all those brackets at once. Waiting, and there you have it. I had one error saying that this particular group required four participants, so it could not be created. So then I will just choose this bracket again and then choose another bracket type and then I can create that. Now I'm gonna head over to brackets and schedule. Brackets and schedule consists of three tabs. Brackets, current matches and find matches. Let's start with brackets. Each mat has a number of brackets within them. And since I placed all my brackets on mat number one, I need to distribute them to all the other mats so that I have an even ETA on all the mats. I will press unlock drag and drop. This makes it possible for me to drag one bracket from one mat to another. And then I will do that until I think I have an even number of matches. And so that my ETA of the mat is the same. When I'm done, I press save so that smooth comp recalculates all the times and then I'm gonna keep on doing this until I'm satisfied. Over here we have some buttons that you need to be aware of. The extended info button gives you more information about each bracket so you can double check yourself. The TV mode is this kind of view that displays beautifully on a big screen and it also updates automatically. So use this view, remember to press TV mode when you are displaying this view on a big TV. Over here we have the print function. All brackets takes you to this view and from here you can just press print and then just print it as a backup. Let's go back to brackets and schedule. And then I'm gonna press current matches. 
current matches is like a departure table on an airport. It gives you a great overview of who is fighting, who is waiting and who is up for the weigh-in. So if we would recommend one view to show on a big screen, this would be it. So find your biggest TV and hook this view up to it. Press TV mode and you're going to have a really smooth event. You don't have to shout in the microphone for people because they will see when they are fighting. Also try to educate your fighters to use their smartphone and to be logged into their account because their account will always give them their upcoming fights and it will update during the day. The last tab is the Find Matches tab. Find Matches is also the view that you should use if you're having the weigh-in the same day. Then just follow this list and use the icon here, the scale icon where you can weigh the fighters in. You can search for fighters names here. You can filter on clubs, filter on mat, on the category, meaning the day. You can even filter for a specific country. So this view is great to use as a spectator or as a coach. Let's say I just want to find matches from one country, then I can search for that. Or I, I want to find my club. I want to find all my fighters. Then I can just filter for that. So that was the brackets and schedule. How to batch create your brackets and how to schedule brackets. For the next video, I'm going to show you the results view, how you can hand out medals and also the advanced statistics and a little bit more of that. Thanks for watching and I see you soon.